AMPA literally stands for Academy of Music and Performing Arts. So as a AMPA student, we are supposed to learn, well, depending on what study. I am now a classical musician studying the cello, so I am studying classical music and of course studying how to make music from the cello and yeah, and then the things that comes with it. It's not only a conservatory where people learn how to play and to sing very well, but it's, it is also connected to performing arts, so they need to become performers uh, in the current world of music. It's very important to become performers next to being good players and singers. Perhaps some people might think of a music school as, well, in this case, you go to music school, study the cello and go home. Well, I think music is it's not just that. Of course, the instrument is very important, but the instrument is the tool of making music. So that's why I think we have to have theory. It makes sense. If you cannot read your music, then what are you doing? If you don't know the history behind your music, then there's no, there's no goal, there's no reason. And what I really love about this place is mostly that it's a very safe environment in which you can work freely and shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes. So if you study at AMPA, you can become a singer, you can become a, a, an instrumentalist, either jazz or classical music, and you can also study composition. In the first and second year, we have to take theory lessons for two years, also history and, yeah, I think music history lessons, which makes sense and we need our basic uh, music theory, history, but in the third year, so on, you don't have these kind of lessons, so you actually get to pick your own lessons, which is nice, but it depends on everyone's schedule. I'm just a bit busier than some of my friends, but that's what I chose, so. Of course, in the first two years, uh, you acquire the basic skills to be an instrumentalist or a singer or a composer. Uh, so you have a lot of theory lessons um, and you get to know your fellow students and you form groups and you start playing in ensembles with them. Um, from year three on, uh, you start specializing in what you'd really like to do and what your ideas are about your own profession. Uh, so that's uh, what AMPA does, uh, other than other conservatories maybe, that, that the personal input of the student is very important. So you can specify your own course of study. I think with free choice you can take advantage of well, really being free and doing what you want. For example, I am taking uh, piano lessons, uh, piano classical, and piano jazz and a bit of organ lessons because I used to stay I used to study the piano first and yeah in my opinion everyone should do it I mean you can not do it and just do what the lessons are or like the, the free lessons that are available but then it's a waste of money and opportunity in the third and fourth year it's really up to you so I would make use of that free choice the proportion of theory and practice is pretty much 50-50 during the first two years because they have a, you, the students have a lot of theory lessons. Uh, but from year three on, uh, they have much more practice than theory because they have had the theory and they have uh, sort of, they're finished with it. And then they can really concentrate on their voice or on their instrument. I really like the variety of classes uh, to first be in a language class, um, busy with literature, which I personally really love, and after that have a theatre class during which you go crazy and completely out of your comfort zone, and after that a rehearsal for some kind of uh, project. So I really, really love the variety of things. Especially when you interact with other disciplines like uh, theatre, drama and uh, and visual arts, you can really make very, uh, very powerful concepts uh, so that you can make your point about how you see the, the life as it is now. Especially for young people, it's most of the time very hard to understand the complexity of the world. Um, and I think this can help uh, the communication between artists and people watching them or, or listening to them. 
We have a lot of projects, especially the singing class. We have a class called uh, interpretation class, uh, during which we work on projects. Now we are, for instance, working on the opera Dido and Aeneas, and a stage director from outside of school is going to help us with that. Um, so occasionally we work with people from outside of the school during these kind of projects. In my opinion, uh, the school, it being a very big school with a lot of dis disciplines, it's not just music. On the other side of the building you have even architects, I think, or yeah, something not music. Uh, point being, there's a lot of different studies and I don't think many schools are as big in that sense with a lot of variety. Then of course it comes with a lot of people from different nationalities and I think as a I mean, we are musicians, artists. I am playing old music. It is uh, music of the past, but I am living now. So it's always nice to get a new perspective, have new ideas, maybe, yeah, work. You don't, I mean, I see a lot of people. It doesn't mean I have to work with them, but just to see new ideas happening that really are not related to your studies is just nice. It is super individual, especially because of the free choice program, uh, during which you get to choose entirely yourself what you want to do. For instance, I chose to study Russian, uh, to be able to sing Russian repertoire, and that is not something that is offered by any other conservatory as a standard course. Uh, but I can do it because I have this free choice space uh, for which I can choose what I study myself. Um, and I think this really makes you individual and gives you a certain expertise as an artist. I recommend AMPA to musicians who think that performance in the world of now is very important. That you can make your music much more powerful also by being a very good performer. And just like with music, performance also needs skills. And uh, I think AMPA is uh, one of the few schools which gives those skills um, to students and leaves the students free to make their own stuff and to go, go their own way and to discover uh, why actually they want to make music and why they want to perform.